Tips can help us do amazing things. It can help us navigate the world, know which restaurant to book tonight, or know what song is playing on the radio. But when it comes to the actual stuff around us, if you're not sure or just don't know, well, you're on your own. Sio is the first molecular sensor that fits in the palm of your hand. It scans the molecular fingerprint of an object and provides relevant instant information about its chemical makeup. You can use it to log the chemical fingerprint, record it, and share it with your friends. Imagine if there was a way to know which watermelon is sweeter. When is that avocado going to ripen? How many calories, carbs, or proteins are in that shake? How your plants are doing? What's in those pills you were taking? Imagine if there was a way to know the chemical makeup of everything you come in contact with. The applications are endless. SIO uses a tiny optical sensor called a spectrometer, which absorbs light reflected back from an object and breaks it down into a spectrum. The spectrum is then sent to our cloud for analysis, and our algorithm sends back the result to your phone in real time. Spectrometers are used today in labs around the world, but they are too large and expensive for everyday use. SIO is a tiny spectrometer that can be mass-produced at low cost. What's exciting about SIO is that it empowers us all to explore new frontiers right under our noses. You don't have to be a scientist. You just have to follow your curiosity. And every time you scan, you're helping to build the world's first database of matter that has tremendous implications for research, for medicine, for education, for our food system, and for our environment. You can also get our development kit and build applications of your own. Join the journey. Get your own SIO. Explore more. Hey, I'm Devin, founder of Light Free. Light Freak is a Bluetooth light bulb with built-in HD audio. Devin brought us an idea. He wanted to put a speaker into a light bulb. We thought that was brilliant. The major difficulty was fitting all of it into such a tiny little package. You have to be able to put enough light and you have to be able to put enough sound that doesn't sound too tinny, doesn't sound too muffled, the voices sound clear. We wanted it to have uh, as much bass as we could possibly put into it while still sounding great. We have a lot of technology in here which allows us to do a lot of things. We can use it for an intercom, we can use it for a speaker system. You can change the light temperature and the light color. It does notifications, it can wake you up in the morning. It's just packed with technology and features. And I'd like to give you a demonstration. Light Freak works in tandem with your smart device, allowing you to get visual notifications. Receive notifications throughout your home or office, no matter where your device is located. The included app allows you to set different colors for notifications. You'll know what's important before you get up and walk to your smart device. Light Freak provides mood lighting and sound that's perfect for personal or commercial use, like dinner at home or a nice restaurant. And its compact design allows it to fit in any standard size light fixture. One of the neatest features of this light is you can put it into party mode. Party mode. So you put a few of these into a room and it really lights up the room and makes it feel like a dance floor. Your lights wake up when you enter a room and go to sleep when you leave. So your lights effectively follow you throughout your home. This applies to your HD audio as well, making Light Freak hands-free, energy efficient, and easy to use. So whether you choose to keep it simple or use the many features available, Light Freak is up to task. It's time to get Light Freak in everybody's home and business. We've got some great rewards for our backers, and I know together we can make this happen. Thanks for your support. Light Freak, Light Freak, Light Freak, Light Freak, Light Freak.
Jar and Bike is uh, the easiest and quickest way to learn how to ride a bicycle. Using a Jar Bike, kids can learn to ride without training wheels or stabilizers and learn to ride in one afternoon. Well, as far as a child learning to ride a bike, confidence is, is everything. Having a product that, that gives that stability from the outset um, could really fast track um, child's development and confidence in cycling. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, the the gyro bike is the paperclip of the bicycle world. I mean, why, is, why has nobody done it before? It's such a brilliant concept. Well, any spinning disc is a gyroscope. It's just a matter of what you do with the gyroscope to put it to work for you. When you spin a disc, it creates a force. It doesn't want to move off its axis. What we do is we turn it on its side, and when this spinning disc is tilted, it actually turns the wheel so that the child can continue riding upright. Gyrobike has engineering happening all around the world. And specifically in Holland, we have advanced work going on with computer simulation models to understand the art of balancing a bicycle. When, when a bicycle is, is riding at a, at, a, at a low speed, in this model we can see how stable a bicycle is. We uh, implemented the gyro wheel into the model. The gyro wheel is doing a great effort on, on the stability of the bicycle and there the gyro wheel can help. I could see the opportunity here not just for children but started to think about how this technology could help more people. A lot of children with disability get left behind and therefore something that people take for granted like riding a bike and not being a 12 year old with stabilizers would give them so much confidence. Go honey, go, well done, look at you. That's the furthest. Well, that's the first time she's ever actually got on a bike, yeah, and been able to ride it, yeah. I think it's, it's really fascinating when you see the gyro bike for the first time in that it, it doesn't fall over, and, uh, and that's really revolutionary. I haven't seen anything like that before. It must be fantastic for a child's confidence when they're learning how to cycle. From a customer perspective, that, that speed and simplicity of, uh, of, of teaching a child the, the cycle, um, if that process can happen quickly, then um, you know, the learning becomes uh, a small part of the journey and, and the child can, uh, can then start exploring and, uh, and seeing how far they can go. Mark 1 was invented by the university students at Dartmouth and they produced a very successful product. Like all version 1's in any product, there's lots of learnings from it and we took all of that learning and put it into version 2. The principal improvement in the, in the new gyro bike wheel is the electronics are greatly improved. The new product is more efficient. It'll run longer, it's lighter, it'll produce more force. And we've added a great deal of fun in the mega sound and the ability to change sounds. After you've learned how to ride a bike using the product, you can reduce the settings until the bike does less balance and the child does more until it's completely turned off. And if you want to make the bike lighter, you can actually take the cover off, remove the flywheel and put the cover back on. We listen to our customers and we've developed a wireless control that allows you to change the stabilities, change the audio function and also change the volume controls. We've got as far as we can in terms of design and development and we're really looking for people to support us and get behind us so that we can move to the next phase of production and get this product out to as many people as possible. I love bikes. I grew up on bikes. Some of my best memories in life are on my BMX with my friends. I want to instill that type of memory, that type of love in product with anyone who touches a gyro bike. A gyro bike engineering is all about balancing form and function. So we're always balancing and that's why our tagline is brilliantly balanced. Hello, I'm Seb and I'm Colton. Today, we are bringing you the most advanced running robot in the world. We have all seen robots doing great stuff in movies, but the reality is they are slow and hard to control. We started Robotics Unlimited to change the status quo. So what's OutRunner? OutRunner is a biologically inspired legged robot that emulates running. So OutRunner is based on several years of research. We started with animal biomechanics, then went into computer simulation, mechanical design, control algorithm development, and also very neat, efficient electronics. The result is a cutting-edge robot, it's extremely fast, 
inherently stable, and extremely efficient. During our research effort, we broke the world speed record for legged robots. We reached speeds of 45 miles per hour on treadmill and 25 miles per hour in outdoor testing. Outrunner is the only passive running robot. It's inherently stable at running speed. We went through several iterations to refine the robot design. We improved the manufacturing techniques to make the robot strong and light. We integrated as much intelligence as possible so you can drive it and steer it with a very simple remote control on your smartphone. It's simple and extremely fun to play with. Outrunner comes in two versions. A basic version called Outrunner Core and a more advanced version with enhanced capability called Outrunner Performance. Down the road and based on how much support we receive, we will offer modular upgrades to enhance the robot's capabilities. About six months after the delivery of the first unit, we will organize the world's first running robot competition. And the best part is that you will be able to enter the competition with your customized robot. Keep in mind, even the best robot is nothing without a good driver. It will be your chance to show the world who the best robot pilot is. We are now in the final stage of development. We have been through a lot of prototypes and proved that the science works. We need your support for two things. We want to finalize the robot design and set up our manufacturing facilities. So far, we have been very lucky to develop the Outrunner technology in-house right here in the USA, and we hope to keep it this way. By pledging, you are not just getting the best running robot in the world. You are actually fostering robotic culture and bringing people and robots together. grade neodymium magnet is 72 millimeters in diameter, it's 60 millimeters thick, it weighs 1.8 kilos and yet it has a clamping force of over 300 kilos. Now this magnet is perfectly safe until it sees a thick piece of steel or even worse it attracts to another magnet. 
Now when two magnets suddenly jump together, if your hand is in between, all your fingers will get cut off. If we look at these sponges as being your hand, when the magnet's attracting the other magnet, the force is perhaps 50 kilos at this distance. But because the 50 kilos is pressing on your hand, it compresses. When it compresses, the magnets are closer together, and then the force rises to 100 kilos. 100 kilos compresses your hand even more. 200 kilos, 300 kilos. The magnets don't stop until they are touching. And if we combine that with massive acceleration, you can understand how dangerous these magnets can be. Now, imagine if this was a 300 kilo block of steel traveling at 200 miles an hour onto your hand. You can imagine the mess that would make. Now we're going to do a demonstration. I'm going to put my hand in between two magnets and we're going to see what happens when these two fantastic magnets collide and my hand is trapped in between. To do this demonstration I'm going to need two of these magnets. A non-magnetic stainless steel pole runs through the magnet and I am loading on the second magnet. Right, if you don't like broken bones, blood, gore, please look away now. This isn't going to be pretty. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate what can happen when a hand is caught between two large neodymium magnets. Now the magnets that we use don't look particularly large, but with a pulling force of 300 kilos, I think it graphically shows what can go wrong. Now there are applications where magnets of this size are needed, and if you need to assemble them into an assembly, and you don't want to end up looking like me, then give us a call. At firstformagnets.com we have engineers who are specially trained to handle these magnets. They use specially designed equipment to make sure that everybody keeps the fingers. Thanks for watching.